This is the Lifestyle Business Owner Show, where we talk about the street smarts of small business. Your hosts are Aaron and Mayumi Muller, owners of eight companies that run without them and founders of the LBO Academy. It's your turn to discover how you can own a business that runs without you. Now, here's Aaron and Mayumi. What's going on, everyone? You're listening to Aaron Muller with the Lifestyle Business Owner Show, where we talk about the street smarts of small business. If you can't listen to this entire show today, you can always go to our website. That's lboradio.com and get this episode and any other previous episode that we've done and download it there. Our guest today, his name's Isaac T- uh, Tolpin. He's a founder of ConveyYour.com, the number one micro learning platform for influencers and companies. He's a tech entrepreneur and a futurist at heart on a mission enabling brands to connect and inform at scale. The expertise has helped celebrity influencers, companies, tra- uh, companies to transform their knowledge into humanized digital training. Also, we have my co-host, Miami Muller. She's not only my business partner, but also my partner in life. She's an amazing woman, a true hustler. And if I didn't have her by my side, I would never have the success I do. Miami, say hi. Oh, well, hello, everyone. Wow, that was a, a great... I love hearing that every week. Um, I'm excited. Thank you, Isaac, for being on our show this afternoon. Yeah, welcome, man. Welcome. Oh, so good to be here, Aaron and Miami. It's uh, you know, I've known you guys uh, at a distance for a while. Yes, I love what you do, and we love what you do, and we can't wait to get into it. You know, anything that does with visual marketing, digital marketing, or just like just having a digital visual presence is always fun for me. I love all that stuff, and we we try to incorporate a lot of that into our business as well. So, um, let let's let everyone know exactly what do you do. So convey your is an answer to boring training. Everybody's taken <laughs> some kind of boring class at the other company or somebody sold them a, you know, a course or something like that. And you just can't retain yourself. It's almost impossible. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. we, 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 we built a solution that aligns with human behavior. It's bite sized content delivered, you know, to the mobile or computer um, with text message notifications, things like that. That's awesome. So let me just for the, the novice person. So, if I had a company and uh, I wanted to hire you, we would hire you to do videos that were the non-traditional way of shooting the videos, but to create content and, uh, and sustain, like having the audience, our employees keep um, interested in, in the training program. So it's like a training program that you're, that you're uh, establishing for whether it's a product or your employees. Is that correct? Is, is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, that's, yeah, good. Right on, right on track. So it's the software. So we built the structure um, and then it enables very, very easily. We took the friction out of production for HR departments, companies, or that best-selling author that wants to monetize their content. Uh-huh. And, and so basically, it makes it easy now just to take very basic videos. As you guys know, I used to have an agency uh, where the high dollars and the publishing model, we took a cut. And, and uh, I just was deep in the industry and realized this is fundamentally flawed. Okay. I mean, there isn't a tool out there that makes it more interesting. And so now people can take three, I recommend, two to five-minute videos. Uh, make you know as many of those as you need to complete your course. Uh, a lot of times, 11 to 20 videos is a good complete course. You can make many courses. And then what what you need to do is establish learner trust. So no matter what you're using, here's a key thing I think everybody will, will pay attention to. If you're considering using training for onboarding employees or replicating your content, mm-hmm. you have to establish learner trust. And if you don't, you're going to bore them, and they're going to bail, and they won't buy any more from you. All right. So what's what's learner trust? Yeah. I like it. The learner, <laughs> the learner trust is uh, a few things have to happen within five minutes. They need to learn something valuable. It's no fluff in the video, straightforward. It can be literally a talking head video, which goes against the grain of what a lot of people are talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, but the shorter the video, the less you need to edit. And the less you need to edit, the more mm-hmm. relevant you can stay and keep up to the speed of change. So, mm-hmm. so that's the first thing. Second thing is they have to acknowledge they've completed it. That sounds pretty basic so far. The next thing is it has to be on a platform that is built for mobile but also works on computers, not the other way around like most of them. It's mm-hmm. got to be beautiful on the mobile device. And then mm-hmm. the next thing is really, really important is they have to – get recognized publicly for making progress with gamification. And if I you hear you. Things, 
<laughs> and if you accomplish those things within five minutes, you're going to retain them because, you know, think about this. You guys, uh, you're entrepreneurs and you're busy. If, if you, even if you're interested in something, you think, hey, do I have 10 minutes right now? We all say no, don't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. But if we say, hey, do I have five minutes right now? And uh-huh. I really like it. And I'm going to get recognized for it. Sure. Then we're probably going to do that. So, so-, so basically you're telling us that everyone – is ADD and yeah. needs to be uh, uh, patted on the head, which is basically me. Words of affirmation and my ADD squirrel. You know, I probably can't sit uh, at, at a training video, you know, for more than three to five minutes anyway. So that's great that you do it in little increments as well as getting them to, like, um, acknowledge that they've learned something. And you're patting them on the back because they're learning. You got to hit all the psychological drivers. Yeah. It's not just how we're, it's not just how we're it's wired brilliant. anymore, right? Some, pe- some people are more wired that way, but society has trained us. Steve yes. Jobs made it where the experience has to be beautiful. We expect that. Social media has made it where we need instant, gra- uh, yes. instant response uh, for everything we do. And it's just the way it is. So, so true. Okay, so are you editing the videos too? or uh, So people put together all these videos um, and then you do all the editing? How does that work? Yeah, no, we're, we don't do any production. So okay. we have contractors that can help people if they, if they want that. So you have the platform. Um, we have the platform. But you mm-hmm. know what, I, Aaron? I did something really important. Right when we launched this two years ago, um, I took my iPhone 6 at the time, even though I had better equipment, and I shot 11 biz, uh, videos that were three minutes to four minutes, and I put it together in two and a half days in Conveyor, and I created an 11-day Build More Than a Business Challenge. It was for business owners. Wow. And I, it, was, it was a little test. I gave away free, and I threw it up on my Facebook. About 30 business owners joined it. They loved it. You know what I did on a fourth day is I said, hey, if you share this to social media, I'll give you 1,000 extra points. And the whole mm. thing was gamified. It, I didn't talk about the points in the beginning or in the videos. There was no reward for getting points except they were ranked, and they saw their name in a ranking. And boom, this thing blew up. Uh, and these people, you know, not young people necessarily. They're, mm-hmm. you know, it's like 40 to 50, 60 years old. And it just, it was just unbelievable. And nobody complained about the videos. They loved the videos. And so I'm telling you, you've got to get, we've got to change our mindset because if we overproduce our videos, we're not going to be relevant. If we overproduce it, spend a lot of money on it, and something's outdated, like a product or service that's what talked about in there, we're not going to go fix that because it costs too much, it takes too much time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I, I understand that. So let's let's talk about those people that like additional information. They like to really. Um, so so okay. I, I kind of like almost relate this to the cell phone, where it just kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden now they're bigger than ever, right? You have huge cell phones, so you know people wanted something smaller, and so. I mean, do you think that, like, people are going to start, you know, turning back into that, you know, being starved uh, for information because it's so quick and it's not, I mean, to get something out in two minutes, sometimes if it's really pertinent information, um, you know, what about those people that are... That are are, information junkies. That are information junkies, Mm -hmm. because I know a couple. I mean, I personally like the really quick, short stuff, right? And and in our video training stuff that we did, we we put an academy together, kind of not similar, but, you know, just whatever, you know, like an online academy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, some of our videos are... 25 minutes and some are like you know one minute right Right. so like some areas like financials you know and identifying understanding financials we can't do in three to five minutes mm -hmm. so that section might take a little bit longer what are your thoughts on that i you bring up i'm so glad you brought it up it's such an important point and and micro learning is not less content material okay it's just think about it this way and and there is a you're going to convince me five percent or less of the time but there is a time where you're going to need a longer video but just make sure it's the it's the aberration, and mm-hmm. and a conveyor can hold any size video. But here here's the thing: is that if you have a 25 minute video, let's say, I'd really encourage anybody to look at it and first of all get the five minutes of fluff we don't need out. Now we're down to 20. Yeah. Okay, and the second thing is, now can is it possible to give that same information in four or five minute videos and string them together? Now you're watching the same amount of content, but broken up, you're recognizing for it along the way. So think about it as the same video, but just broken up. If you literally can't make that change, you will get way higher completion. Mm. Yeah, that does make sense. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, I, 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 I get it, and I'm sold on it. 
I'm totally sold on yeah. it. And, uh, you know, when we started out on our program, um, you know, we were looking at doing these really long videos, and I, and we both Miami and I both said, you know, this is not. I wouldn't want to watch right. this. Right. We have I to mean, create something that we actually would want to be a part of, and that we want you know to yeah. be involved in so how is your plat so you're basically a platform then um that hosts these videos correct these these online yeah, courses so, so, so how in the two worlds oh. there's okay. the enterprise world and there's the online training world right for like trainers uh-huh. mm-hmm. in, the, in, the, in the corporate world it's referred to as an lms a learning management system we're a modern version of that or companies can integrate conveyor into what they already have to bring it to life they can integrate with any of them uh, the mm-hmm. other side, the, tra- the trainer world, we have lots of trainers using it to monetize their content. And they can, uh, and that replaces uh, like a Udemy or uh, Teachable or Thinkific. We have people switching over from those all the time. Okay, so um, are you familiar with like Kajabi? Or Kajabi. That would okay, be so it's the same kind of deal. Okay, so I didn't, I'm not familiar with some of the other ones. Um, so the, it just basically, it's just its own p- platform. How is yours better than some of those other ones? Well, Kajabi specifically, here's what they're amazing at. And I love talking good about competitors. They're better than us at the marketing side. They have so much for trainers for marketing. It's awesome. Mm. So if you're a beginner at marketing, you might want to use Kajabi. But if you know marketing and you can do that stuff on your own, then Conveyor is way better. Conveyor was built for the learner. It aligns with human behavior far superior. Way more engagement formats. There's nine you can pick from. Way easier to put stuff together and gamify it. Better on the mobile. Um, it's overall a better experience for the learner. And if they, it, 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 again, if you sell something or give something for free, uh, you want them to buy more from you, right? Well, if they don't complete what you sold or gave them, they're not coming back. Yep. Well, you know what? Today we're talking with Isaac Tolpin. He is the founder of Convey Your, the number one micro learning platform for influencers and companies. You can reach out to him at www.conveyor, C O N V E Y O U R. Dot com And I know that, Isaac, really quick, about 10 seconds, you have something that you're going to offer our listeners. Yeah, happy to give the microlearning webinar. It's a short webinar. It's complete value, and it will come with a microlearning blueprint, which has an outline for you with the best practices at companies like Capital One where they're getting 100. They got 100% completion of a 30-lesson course that was made optional with a group of Oh, my. You guys, go to www.conveyor.com. You can follow us on the Lifestyle Business Owner Show anytime, anywhere on lboradio.com, or you can follow us on Facebook and IG. We will be back to talk with Isaac. The Lifestyle Business Owner Show continues after this on AM 1590. The answer. Log on to lboradio.com while you listen to the Lifestyle Business Owner Show. Now, back to Aaron and Mayumi Muller. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Lifestyle Business Owner Show where we talk about the street smarts of small business. This afternoon, we have an amazing guest, Isaac Tolpin. He is the founder of Conveyor, that's C-O-N-V-E-Y-O-U-R, the number one micro-learning platform for influencers and companies. When we left off at our last segment, Isaac was talking about the difference between um, his system and, yeah, and Conveyor the other and systems. the other training system mm-hmm. platforms. And I really hear you, Isaac, when you say this, and I think this is a selling point because I'm hearing you and this is what I would want is that you are mobile, like, friendly. Like, mobile is important to you, it seems like. And and I know that since, you know, everyone's on the go all the time and they're so busy, it's really nice to be able to be able to pull up a training or what have you on your phone um, or your electronic device, right, like your iPad or yep. your Kindle. Or not only that, but it's not just mobile. It's, it's like, it's quick, right? It's so quick. that you can get this information uh, that you need to get it out there to your employees or your clients or, right. or anybody that you're out there, you know, training. Um, and you can do it in a very, and, and you teach to do it in a very quick manner, right, and do these micro training classes. So let's talk about, like, if you're, a, if you're a small business owner, you know, and, you know, you're, you don't have a ton of employees, like a big corporation, why can't I just train my in- employees uh, just by, you know, talking to them? Why do I have to do a bunch of videos? Why would a, why would a business want to use your platform to train their employees for that part of your, oh, your program? I- 
Yeah, I, I, I love that. I, you know, and I love speaking and training and coaching and ad brand businesses with lots of employees. And so never stop training your employees in person when that's relevant. And there's a lot of places where that's relevant and important. But how many times, just think of yourself, business owner, how many times do you implement the things you listen to someone teach you live? And if we're really honest with ourselves, it's just not a lot. And so if mm-hmm. you want actual behavior change, use digital training as reinforcement from your live training. Sure. And yeah. that's, that's going to be a huge catalyst. On another note is everybody talking about the onboarding experience of new employees. How many times are you or your employees repeating the same things over and over again For that, sure. you know, frankly, anybody could do? Let's mm-hmm. leverage that. So their time is spent building relationships with those people, connecting with them, and teaching them maybe leadership skills that isn't as basic. So I think that onboarding experience, compliance situations, you have to have training. You have to have a record that they learned something. uh, And reinforcement training, those are staples. Now, in addition, everybody cares about culture. Let's talk about something else for a second. Culture is so important. Organizational culture, Mm -hmm. learning culture, employee engagement, you want your learning to be a catalyst to those things. Mm-hmm. If learning is an event, like it's only when you decide to teach them something, you're busy. That doesn't mm-hmm. happen all the time. Okay? If it's an event, it's not creating a learning culture. A culture is only created by constant, never-ending pushing on the right levers that drive that culture forward. Because there's either a great culture or a bad culture. There's no mm-hmm. in between, in my opinion. And so to do that, you've got to use digital training and yeah, I like digital training that aligns with behavior right yeah absolutely i think that uh, visual training is definitely universal i mean i get that you know there's going to be people that want a little bit more you know and you can give them a handbook or what have you but the visual training is yeah. key i think that's a great way for people to actually learn well it's so smart too so it is so uh t- um time friendly for yes. you as a business owner like especially, yes. especially a small I, I think almost more so for a small business yes. really thinking about this because you know big corporations they usually have a lot more people in, in play you know that can can do this but like small business owners have a really hard time training employees um, because yeah. they just don't have the time they're just trying to run the business so I, lo- I love and the sometimes idea sometimes with small business owners you know like especially in ours sometimes in our businesses you know you train them and then you spend all that time, and then they don't stay. <laughs> yeah, that too. You just hit so, the play, play button. You know, it's like, <laughs> so why not, you know, invest in these um, micro training? Yeah, plus they're they're filling out like a form yes. uh, like, or, or like something, that, a completion document or something, right, after you complete a video that, you know, so they're having to retain a little, little more because there's a little bit of a Do they uh, do like a Q&A or, a, or a quiz? Do they have a quiz at the end of every video? Yeah, there's like nine different variants of a quiz or mm-hmm. challenge question or open-ended question. Here's, here's what's cool about that, too, though, what you're talking about is, is, you know, to create a rhythm, a culture of learning, it, production has to be simple. I know I've said this, but to the small business owner, that is usually what gets in the way. Mm-hmm. The technology is mm-hmm. too hard, and the videos are too hard to produce. Yep. Now, literally, all you need is a simple Rebel Canon camera or even a new iPhone is good enough. You need three LED lights. And a, you don't need a studio. Bring it around. Bring it to their workstation and get a best practice from someone and then from mm. someone else. And make your employees the heroes of the story uh, and of the training. I mean, this can be so much actually simpler. And the more raw you make it in some essence, the better. I mean, the people want what's relevant. See, relevant, relevancy and speed trumps dress and polish. It's yeah. so important to remember that. I totally agree. So what about like a business that wants to uh, uh, do this for a marketing purposes, not just training employees? How, how is it going to uh, how are you going to be able to help a small business get their message out to customers? Yeah, you know, it's um, it's great. It's got a text messaging platform with it, too. So you can mm. you can build a database and segment and and directly message people with the first name in it very efficiently and manage those responses back one to one. And you can also do impromptu video messaging. Like you can literally, as an admin, hold up your phone, shoot a video that'll attach to a text message to send to a thousand people. But instead of a group message, you'll send a unique text message to each person from a number in the system. Wow. When they reply back, it's not pinging your phone; it's pinging inside conveyor in an inbox, and you can do it when you want to get back to people. That's one thing. You know, my wife, CourageousMom.com. She is a best-selling author. She uses it to announce that a new blog post has been out. Instead of email with a 15 to 20 percent open rate, she gets 98 percent open rate on the text messages. Everybody knows when a new blog post comes out. 
Cool. So wow, that's great. Wait, what's the name of her website again? Courageous Mom. That's great. Now, I'm just going to switch the pendulum here a little bit. I know that um, you have a lot of kids. Yeah. And so your your wife is uh, doing great by being an expert on raising kids and uh, giving women information and men. But so uh, let's talk about a little bit about your entrepreneur journey because I think people want to know. I mean, did you just start this? Have you always been an entrepreneur and were you? have you always been successful? Did you have any business failures or, you know, how has this entrepreneurial voyage uh, been for you? This is like a one to two minute version of that story. <laughs> and, and, and when I was nine, I sold little crafts and made a hundred dollar profit in one day. That was a lot of years ago. And I was hooked on entrepreneurship since pretty much only did that after that. And uh, I was very successful at a young age in direct sales, uh, ran mm. Washington, Oregon, Kentucky eventually, and was making very, very good money and uh, controlled my time and all that. I left that uh, to build a, uh, invest my own money, funded it, funded it originally, uh, digital agency, which we spoke of before. Long story short is that went out of business. It was catastrophic in a way because mm-hmm. I put every, I put all my finances into it, and here I am. Uh, I have seven kids, uh, oh wife God. at home. Seven and, kids, guys, and, and he uh, is doing it. <laughs> and uh, and no re- no money. I mean, I literally sold the college funds. I'm embarrassed to say that. I'm not actually. Don't uh, I mean, be. I regret it, but. But, uh, but it's, 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 I learned so much. I don't regret anything, actually. I am, I have, it's refined to me. I needed to be humbled mm. and, it, and, and I'm just such a better person for it. And I often say there's nothing worse than a young person that's only been successful. Yeah. yeah, right. No, I agree with that. I mean, I think we, 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 t- yeah, we talk about that all the time, mm-hmm. you know, just how coming back from a lot of our previous episodes have been about coming back from those challenges in your, in your life and, and how to, you know, uh, uh succeed again and and you learn so much from those failures and like you said if you've never failed man i mean i i remember starting a a a retail store because i thought i was so smart you know like that i i was so successful in this uh, previous business and then that was my i always call it my college education my four years of learning how to fail (laughs) and and so it it was it was wonderful but it was horrible during the, the, the time but you know what got you how did you get back up on your feet to have that motivation to to want to do it again yeah well, thankfully, um, I, I've had my business partner with the tech company for eight years, Stephen Ryan. He is incredible. And um, I just went 100% on board. He'd already mm-hmm. been working on Conveyor for a long time, and uh, and I jumped on with him. But what, in that moment, it's, it's really too many people cling to um, hope that's uh, created by themselves. Mm. And I, I believe there is a bigger hope to cling to. And I'm about to get too spiritual here, but I'm a Christian. I believe in God. And you know what? That is crucial. And I always say take few opinions, but definitely take the few. Yeah. And so what I mean by that is be careful who you get advice from, but mm. you better have those comrades next to you mm-hmm. that you can trust, that have, that'll go to bat for you, will speak truth even when you don't want to hear it. And I mm-hmm. have those people. They, they they helped me out through the process and woke me up and and uh, and I'm thankful. I I always invested in my family and so my family did not blame me for anything. They did not get angry at me, uh, but they saw me in humility. They saw me cry a couple times. They saw they saw me completely broken and and relying on God completely and seeing God do miraculous things over the, over that first year. How how old is your oldest kid? Well, this is uh, almost 18 off the college this fall. That's why we're doing the RV trip around the country right now, a uh, three-month trip while I'm still working. And uh, the youngest is two, but we have one more coming. So oh, be number eight. whoa, dude. Wow. Well, I was going to make the comment, you know, they, 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 they're not holding anything against you uh, because they're not going to college yet, and, they, <laughs> and, and, and their fund is uh, – they didn't know their fund's missing, but <laughs> – <laughs> Yeah, there used to be college funds, that's for sure. Well, you know, but I love your story about you, how no, you had to be awesome, humbled, man. you know, and I think that's important. I think that we get in this uh, work mode and, you know, and, and we just like work and grind and grind and grind. And then, you know, once you lose everything, it's like, oh, wait, you know, wait, now what's what? important in life? Right? What's important in life? Okay, it's my health, right? It's my family. Mm-hmm. It's my my kids, it's my, my fur berries, it's my fur babies, my time, you know. Fur berries. Fur berries. <laughs> Fur babies. Uh, but yeah, I think that's that's a brilliant, that's an amazing story. And you know what? I always feel like you cannot grow if you don't fail. 
Yep. Every and, successful entrepreneur and think has, about your, just has think failed. Think about his risk that he's yes. putting, he's 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 going out there and doing stuff with eight kids. Gosh, you know what? I God, the time always goes so fast. But we have been talking to Isaac um, Tolpin. Thank you so much for being on our show this afternoon. Here, uh, let me tell you about how to get a hold of him. Go to www.conveyor.com. That's C-O-N-V-E-Y-O-U-R.com. He is um, offering a free micro-learning webinar for you guys. So go to his website. It's free. Go take it. Take advantage of it. And um, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Here at the Lifestyle Business Owner Academy, we're not rendering financial or legal advice. We're not telling what you should or shouldn't do with your money or your business. We're simply telling you what we're doing personally. When we come back, we're going to go into our LBO segment where we talk about how to buy a business, grow profits, and make it run without you. Make sure you follow us on the Lifestyle Business Owner Show anytime, anywhere on Facebook and Instagram as well as LBORadio.com. More of the Lifestyle Business Owner Show coming up on AM 1590, The Answer.